Coming up right now at six, fallout from Maryland's uh, governor's demand for an independent investigation into the Prince George's County school system. Governor Larry Hogan wants to know if the county is boosting its graduation rate by handing out high school diplomas that kids don't qualify for. And he's calling for full protection for whistleblowers. Or Scott Broom has been following this story for weeks now. He joins us live from the Prince George's County School headquarters. Scott. Prince George's County School CEO Dr. Kevin Maxwell says a rising graduation rate is proof the system is improving under his leadership. It's always um, implied, you know, can't we work something out? With but whistleblowers asking their identities to be protected claim to have evidence it's a fraud. The um, effort seems to be not to educate them but to graduate them. Pressure by bosses to change attendance records and grades to move unqualified students through. The students need help. They don't need to look good. Parents here today don't know who to trust. What is your anxiety if your daughter is graduated out and she's not qualified? I feel it was a waste for the three, four years that she was there. Now Governor Larry Hogan is directing the State Board of Education to investigate. And he warns to keep hands off the whistleblowers. Quote, we believe these individuals are entitled to the full protections afforded whistleblowers under the law. Hogan wrote in a letter CC to the state's attorney general. But school CEO Dr. Kevin Maxwell said in a new response today, quote, politics lie at the root of these allegations. Maxwell denied any systematic effort to falsely improve the graduation rate. I want our students to do well, but I want to know that they're actually doing well. And it's politics was at play today to as State Senator C. Right. Anthony Muse announced his candidacy to bring for back Prince George's New County Auditorium, Executive, put in a new strongly field. supporting the governor's call the for an investigation. We want to know that we want we, we simply want to know is this or is this not the case? Recent federal audit found no indications of fraud. Some members of the Board of Education said that audit was not comprehensive and did not include interviews with whistleblowers now coming forward.